Hi, this video is going to show you how to create a form, an HTML form. And when you enter data into the form, it's then going to output into a text area. And the text area is going to be grabbing data from a JavaScript uh, function, which will incorporate a for loop and a list. So I'm just going to demonstrate how this is going to work. So I'm going to enter my name here and enter my age and click the button add to list. I can add another name, add another age and so on. And you can see I can resize the text area. I can see all of my data coming into the uh, into the form output here. Okay, so I'm going to now explain how uh, this code works. So I'm just going to clear away the existing code here. And we'll take it through step by step. So I'm running it again just to start with a nice clear canvas. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add in the uh, input areas for the form, for the form field. So I'm going to type in input. And the input is going to have an ID and we're going to call this one name in. And we'll also give it a placeholder and placeholder lets people know what should be entered into a form. Uh, we're going to do the same thing then for the age input. So again, make a second input here. ID equals age in. And again, we'll put a placeholder equals age. Correct my typo. Uh, and then the other thing we needed then was a button. So we're going to type in a button tag and we're going to give it a on click event. And when the person clicks the button, we're going to create a JavaScript function. We're going to call this one add data. And let's give the button a uh, instruction. So we say add to my list. And we'll just close the button tag there. So when somebody clicks the button now, it's going to invoke this JavaScript function, which we haven't written yet. Uh, and that will then uh, add the name and the age into the text area. So next thing then is to create this text area so let's just add a, a couple of lines a couple of break tags and then we're going to add a h3 tag just with the output oops sorry h3 so let's just type in output there and then we're just going to create the text area now so text area id equals We'll call this one out display. Text area ID equals out display, and <clears throat> we're just going to make it also a read only. And that will prevent people from typing directly into the text area. So we only want to capture information from the form. And then we'll put in the closing tag for the text area. Okay, great. So let's just run that and test that it works. So great, we have a the two fields here and the button and we have the output field. Now, obviously nothing happens if I enter any data into this. Nothing happens yet. So we need the JavaScript now to capture this data and place it into the output text area here. Okay, so we're going to add the script for the JavaScript underneath the form this time. And the reason for that is because we are calling up the add data function on, on with this button. And therefore we need to run this information first before the script gets called. 
So we're going to create some variables to start with. So we're going to call use let, and we'll call the first variable my names equals, and we're going to create a blank list here in JavaScript. So a blank list, like in Python, is using the square brackets. So let my names equals uh, an empty list there. That's going to capture all the data uh, that goes into the form. So then we'll make a second one, let my ages equals, again, a blank list, square brackets. And then we need to get a, a variable there to um, capture the uh, actual value that's coming in here. So we've got a list that is going to uh, get all the values and populate them in here. And then we need to actually get the value itself. So we're going to create another variable here called let name ella, so name element, equals document dot get element by id. And we're going to grab the id, which is name in. So name ella equals document get element by id name in. And we need the semicolon after this. And we're going to do the same thing then for the uh, age element. So we need to create a, a variable that's going to capture the age. So let age ella this time. Call that one age in. And then finally, we'll add a variable to capture the out element. So call this one out ella. And this one is going to be called uh, the out display here. So out display, I'm going to copy that into, into here. Okay, so there are uh, variables created. So the next step is to add the function. So underneath the last variable, we're going to create the function here. So we're going to type in function. And the name of the function is add data. So we have it up here, add data. So type in add data and then brackets. And then we're going to use the curly brackets for the body of the function. That's where all the uh, functionality is working, if you like, is, is going to take place. So the first thing is we need to call up the my names list here. So we're going to grab this variable here. So my names. And then we're going to push the value of the name element using that code there. So my names, which is the what's in the list, and we're going to push the name element, so whatever's been captured in the uh, first input here. Okay, I'm going to grab the value of that. And the same thing then for my ages, we're going to push the value of that as well. So my ages dot push. And then again, the age element this time and dot value. So the value of whatever's in the age element. And every time we run this function, we also just want to make sure that our output box is uh, is cleared. So we're going to type in out LA. And we'll just set the value of this to blank. And the way you do that is just by putting in two quotation marks uh, and that will make sure that the, uh, the text area is blank. So next, after doing that, we're going to create the loop that is going to uh, grab each value from the list and place it into the output text area here. So we're going to use a for loop, JavaScript for loop. So I'm going to type in for. And 
as in every loop, we're going to have uh, three values for this. So we need to have the first values where, where does the loop need to start. So we need to start it at uh, zero. So we're going to call this one index. Sorry, I need to put in the let index equals zero. So that's our starting point. So the index variable, which we're declaring there now. Then as we declared the index variable once, we don't need to type in let again. So we can just say now index is less than my names dot length. And what that means is that the loop is only going to run uh, when it's less than the length of the list. And then finally, we need to increment the loop each time. So we need to increment it by once. And in other words, it get, grabs the first name, uh, moves on to the next name, moves on to the next name. So whichever name is in the index uh, value as it's looping through. So we're going to type in here index. And we could use the unary value or the unary operator, which is plus plus. But we're just going to use plus equals one, which does the same thing. So that's the beginning of the loop. And now this is the actual, the loop body itself then. So we're gonna again use the curly brackets. And what we need to do is the loop needs to populate the text area, the out ella variable here, this, this guy. So in other words, that the out display now gets populated with the information coming from, uh, from the loop. So we're going to type in out LA dot value. And then we're going to concatenate. So we're going to add equals my names. And then we're going to get the index value from the list. So if it's a first name would be index value zero. So that'd be say Hugh in my example below here. So that's the Hugh at the moment is in item number one in the list so or item zero first item and therefore it would grab that data there then we need to add two tabs so we're going to use the backslash t backslash t again same thing in python there if you want to tab or space out uh, information that's being uh, printed so plus my ages we need to grab the ages list as well. So again, it's the index value plus, and then we're going to add a new line every time the loop runs. So again, we're going to use the same thing as Python backslash M to create a new line. So this way, the, the, whatever the index value in the loop is, is going to be added each time uh, with a double space and then the age and then a new line. Okay, so we're gonna just run and test this now. So I'm gonna hit run. So let's type in my name and my age and we'll click add to list. And that's working well. Try another one. So Mary now is in index uh, one because we've already got an item in our list here. So Hugh is in index zero. Mary's now gonna be in item one. And she goes in here and then Bob is going to be in index value two in the list. And his age 56. So this is where the uh, this line of code is working here. So my name's index. So it's grabbing first name, which is Hugh, uh, plus the double space, which you can see here. And then it gets the first age in the from the index which is 21 and then it adds a new line and then next time it runs then it's going to look as you enter a new name then the next person goes into the into the uh, javascript list here okay so please try that out yourselves and see if you can add or edit to the code as well thanks for watching